again, viewers. This time we're actually going to drive the train. All right, let's get the doors shut. Clank. Back in the cab. Now I'll keep the sound of the train down a little bit because that safety valve is just a bit loud. All right, so first things first, we make sure our cylinder cocks are open. Remember, we want to drain the water out of the cylinders. We go into full forward gear. So we're showing forward 75 there. We're going to want to release the brakes, so we're going to open the ejector. But before we release the brakes, whistle and just goose the throttle just a little. There we go, that'll do fine. Now we've released the brakes. And soon we'll start to move. There we go. Oh, nearly. There we go. Now you notice I didn't touch the throttle again. I just goosed a little and off we went. So let's jump back in the cab. We got plenty of water. Let's check that. Make sure it's not in the air bubble or something. Plenty of water. Now you don't need to worry about your firing controls because it's not actually available just yet. So now that we've started moving, we're still in full forwards, and I'm going to throttle up, but gently. I'm only going up to about 16 now. And once the safety valve stops going, there we go. We can listen. Now, we can close the cylinder cocks now. We're getting up to about 10 mile an hour. We're actually heading on a down gradient, so we don't have to work too hard. But I'm going to start bringing my reverser back to about the 50 mark. That'll do. And now I'm going to throttle up some more. And I'm going to start using a lot more steam. Look at those wheels, aren't they awesome? So good. We've reached 20 mile an hour now. We're still accelerating away happily. We're not using a lot of throttle. We can use a bit more. Let's get it going a bit faster. Top speed in these locomotives is about 65 mile an hour, but most trains will run at about 60 or so. Most freight trains will run a lot slower than that. We'll get to that when I talk about head codes. That'll be in another tutorial. All right, we're coming up to 30 mile an hour. And I want to balance my steam usage a bit. So right now I'm using too much. As you'll notice, even though the fireman's shoveling, we're not getting much upwards on, on the steam there. It's mostly downwards. So I'm going to come back to about the 30-odd mark. There you go. That'll do. That's close enough. Leave, leave the regulator where it is. I'm currently sitting on 50%. And we're speeding up quite nicely, you'll probably notice that. That's partly because we're going downhill. Alright, we can now bring this back. This loco doesn't mind being in the teens, so we'll bring it back into the teens. And I'm actually going to start throttling off, but a good practice, it doesn't matter in the game, but a good practice is nice and slow. And just leave it cracked open just a little bit, because it helps carry the lubricating oil through your pistons, and it also keeps your pistons and your cylinder chest nice and warm, so that you don't get condensation. So that's pretty much it for getting moving. We've started to go uphill now, so we're not going to want to lose speed. We can throttle up again. We'll just keep it at about the 40 mile an hour mark for this trip. You can certainly go faster if you want to. To keep to the timetable, you will actually have to travel at about 60. But, you know, timetables, they're just kind of a guide, really. So we'll keep going along to Winsford. where we'll be stopping and I'll take you through the stopping process meanwhile we can watch this bloke do some work shovel 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 now as I've mentioned in the other tutorials and I think already in this one as well you don't have to worry about firing yet because in this release the manual firing is not yet available And I have to say, I absolutely abhor Dovetail's position in not including it. 
as the community has said many, many times, don't put it out if it's not ready. If it wasn't ready, so they didn't put it out. This is awesome. Alrighty, we're coming up on 50 mile an hour. So soon I will start for waffling off, even though we are still on a bit of a gradient. We just don't need to throttle all that hard anymore. Let's just bring this down a little. To keep an eye on our distances. Meanwhile, why don't we watch the train? Because it's just cool. It goes to steam boom. And it changes depending on your throttle position. So if I come right off, none. And if I go full blast, lots. But we don't want to go full blast. We could go full blast, but you know, we don't need to. It just looks really nice as far as I'm concerned. Done an awesome job of this. So much better than I thought would be achievable. We've solved the problem of things going round and round in Unreal. Fantastic. Here's Winsford Junction, and we've got 1.4 miles to go. So, let's throttle off now. We'll start letting gravity do the work for us. But again, we want to keep our throttle just, just on cracked open. So just on the one. Safety valve's already blasting, so I'll turn the game down again, because you don't need to listen to that. And I'm going to close the large ejector. Should have actually closed that when I finished with the brakes before. We've got one mile to go. We're still doing about 45 miles an hour. So we'll have to start slowing down soon. Now you don't have to go crazy with these brakes, they're not too bad. Now this is with a passenger set. When you get into the 8F, look at that, I've driven 10 miles. Well, I've only just come into the version that I'm allowed to show you, so I've probably driven about a thousand miles actually, but that's okay. So just under a thousand yards to go, so we'll start a gentle braking action. We'll see the vacuum dropping up there. If you remember the 101, that had vacuum brakes. Similar kind of concept. So we're just destroying a bit of vacuum. That'll do for now. 500 yards to go, 40 miles an hour. Speed's dropping fairly well. Now this brake, as you might remember from the other tutorials, is a combined steam brake, which operates on the loco, and the vacuum brake, which operates on the carriages. Right, give it a bit more brake now. I'm going to brake nice and gently. It is a passenger train. You don't want people to drop their little sausage rolls on the floor. So we're coming into the station now. We're slowing about a bit much, so let's crack the large ejector open again, release the brakes. There's nothing to stop us powering up a little bit at this point, except that we haven't moved our reverser. So I'll just put that back into full forwards again, and we'll move forwards a bit. Safety valve shut up again. And you notice I had a bit of wheel slip there. It's because I opened the throttle a bit too much. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. But let's just get up here and finish stopping. Game wants me to unlock the doors, but I want to get to the end of the platform because I'm like that. All right, and let's stop for the second time. Still getting used to the brakes, even though I've done quite a bit of time in these. And opening up the doors. Usual keys for that. Now, when you're stopped, reverse her back to mid-gear. And open your cylinder cocks. Always get into that habit and a full application on the brake. Just always get into that habit. Just a good habit to be in. That way you can't go wrong, you can't hurt anything, you can't roll, nothing bad can happen. Well, this has been brought to you by Keith. Maybe that's Keith. Are you Keith? I'm very short. What am I doing down here? Hmm, anyway. It's been brought to you by Keith. Keith the Locomotive. Hey. 
brothers. Look at that. Twinsies. So that's it for your first introduction to driving steam. So yeah, more tutorials to come.